Hello my lovelies, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Amy if you're new to this channel. I had a request to do a what's in my bag in my 19 bag. What I've decided to do is transfer everything I have in here. This is the bucket bag in the small size from the 19B collection into my 19 bag. For both of them I do have organizers but for this one I will show you without organizer as well as with organizer how things fit. This is a relatively new offering. I have two videos that is related to this bag so I will also link them up here as well as down below but um, basically this is a new bag that came out in the fall winter collection of last year. It is also Karl Lagerfeld's last design. Um, and it's in a beautiful slouchy lambskin. Mine is in the shiny lambskin. I bought mine from the 20C collection and yeah that's pretty much about it. I was asked to compare between this size and the larger sizes but unfortunately I don't have any of the larger sizes one. I have tried the size up from this in the goat skin. From memory the large size had about the same drop except that because the bag was a bit larger it was you know a bit wider as well as a bit longer it just dropped way too low and it um for my height i'm 5'4 it was a bit more overwhelming plus i wasn't really looking for a larger bag anyway but i did like this size because this is kind of in between the medium large as well as the jumbo and it also fits a lot so i liked having a different bag that is very different from the rest of my collection. As per usual, I also discuss my outfits, but today is pretty much something that you've already seen in the past. This is a cashmere sweater from Lily Silk. I highly recommend it. I'll link it down below, as well as jewelry. It's all Chanel today, so Chanel earrings, necklace, as well as a little hair clip from Chanel. I'll try to take out the organizer to show you. Aside from the sunglasses which I put on top of everything, this is how it looks like on this organizer. Again, this organizer is for the bucket bag and I'll link to the exact ones that I have. My phone, I have sunglasses, and my basics which are I deliberately put a coin pouch in it so that you can see all that stuff fit in my other bag. I have my AirPods in a case. I have my six key and I have card holder which is my main wallet. I also have a little foldable shopping bag and then the rest is just card keys, lip balm and then this is my bag hanger, my favorite one. Here's the 19 bag. I'm going to remove the organizer for you. So the organizer looks like this and again I'm going to link to the exact one that I have but the interior is just a red, deep red color and like I said, this is in a soft lambskin so once you don't have any organizer inside, it will squish and it will become very pillowy. Keys and card holder, let's sit them upright because that's what I like to do. I like to sit them upright. Coin purse which goes right behind it. So everything is lining up so far. This is a shopping bag. I can also stand this up on the corner. So as you can see, AirPods can just go in between. Honestly, there's so much space. You can fit a lot here. iPhone, I will put that behind. In the zip pocket, I just put my car keys, my lip balm, as well as my bag hanger. Everything sits very flush and um, pretty much flat inside. As you can see, and now I have extra space on top to put my um, sunglasses. So let me zip it up so that you can see with even with the sunglasses on top. It's not full yet, but I don't like to overload my bags because, well, first of all, it gets heavier. And then I really don't really need anything else other than that. And this is how it looks like. So as you can see, it will slouch a little bit if you pinch it, but... If you organize your things properly, it won't be too bad. And plus this size being the smallest one won't slouch very much. This is how it looks like right now. It's pretty heavy already because the bag itself is quite substantial. The chains are heavy. That's why I wouldn't really go any bigger than that as well as not really carry much more than that. Obviously there is still a lot of space inside. You can still put 
you know, receipts, papers, other things, makeup items, and you'll still be able to fit all that inside. And this is how it would look like if I want to clutch it or hold it as a pillow. I still recommend an organizer for storage because, like I said, while I don't mind using it without one, because it really, this size doesn't really get distorted that much, being the small size. And because the amount of things I have inside is exactly enough to kind of fill it. It doesn't really distort the shape, it doesn't get too saggy and whatnot. And um, even with the weight, because it is not so large, it doesn't, it doesn't pull in in a weird way too too much. It does pull a little bit, you can definitely feel the tension here and here on the leather, but it's not a big deal. Even if you open it wide, it doesn't flop open, it doesn't spill out or anything. Uh, you do have to kind of support the bottom in order to close it. With the organizer, this is approximately how it would look like. Uh, obviously, my glasses will be on top. I've just literally put it inside without moving any of the content. It's exactly in its same position as earlier. Of course, I have to put my sunglasses in it, which would fill the top space but it still obviously closes and with the organizer, it just becomes a little bit more boxy. As you can tell, the bottom is well supported. Even if you pinch it, it doesn't, it doesn't squish. The bag is still really comfortable. It is a little bit more boxy to clutch like this because it's like, you know, it's more square now and everything is pretty much more or less very structured looking. Obviously over time you might notice more of a slouching but I feel like this size is just an overall best sort of um, compromise between a enough slouchiness to have that look but not overly slouchy like to the point where the bag looks so old and not desirable anymore even though that is a look in itself like if you go for the larger size in the leather version which is so soft and malleable it has its own different appeal it's just not for me because the size alone is already too big and um i still want the the pillowy design but without being too overwhelming and i still have the option of making it more structured with an organizer um, and especially for storage, I do highly recommend it. If you have a chance to try it on, obviously do that. You'll be able to really tell whether the size up is more suitable for you because not everybody carries the minimum amount of things like I do. This is actually even more than I normally carry. I sometimes don't even have... Um, I sometimes don't even have sunglasses and I sometimes don't have my coin pouch because I don't really need coins that often. I don't always carry my AirPods all the time. I carry this much on most days plus sunglasses if I go out during the day. The size up is probably more universal for like 5, 6 and up and the largest size is just looking like a travel maxi bag basically. It's beautiful, but I definitely don't need one in my collection. So I hope this was a helpful video for those of you considering this bag. I do have a couple other videos and unboxing as well as a sort of like a impression review uh, that is related to, to this 19 bag. So I will also have that linked up here as well as below for you to watch it. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like this video as well as subscribe and hit that notification bell. I would love to have you back and I will talk to the rest of you again very soon. Bye!